If we've learned everything or anything over the past couple of years uh, through the pandemic, as far as education is concerned, our kids are going back to school. Mm -hmm. It's that really there is no one size fits all when it comes to education. And news specialist Kara Bracken, she spoke with the Davis County family who says this school year, they're taking the best from the last couple of years and applying it to their students' schooling. So that means one student is starting the school year from home, the other going to school in person. Watching where they thrive and they don't thrive and where they excel, excel not. So That's what Frank Disk, dad of two students, says work for his kids. Aiden, who's going into 11th grade at Davis High School, and Bryce, who will be starting 9th grade at Online Connect. Over the last couple of years through the pandemic, both Aiden and Bryce have been like a lot of other students, doing a mix of in-person learning and working from home. Frank says Bryce, their youngest, has some medical issues that at times makes it trickier to consistently be in school in person. This August will mark Bryce's first year starting school full-time remote, something they think will take some pressure off. He would get anxiety of the stuff that he's missing and then getting behind and the, and the struggle there versus now when it's like, oh, you can do it when you need to do it and get it on your own pace. You can see the relaxation there. For Aiden, who's going into his junior year at Davis High, in-person learning makes the most sense both personally and academically. For, for Aiden and specifically, he was, his grades were suffering when we went remote and socially and mentally, you can see it was a, was a, was a rough, you know, road for him there. And when they went back to school and <clears throat> the social interaction, you saw the change and then his grades went to straight A's. Um, so they came straight back up to straight A's. I have like ADHD and so I kind of struggled to sit still at a computer. And when I get put into an environment where I meant to learn, it helps me a lot more to understand what I'm doing. All right, Kara, thanks for that. Uh, Frank says the silver lining of the pandemic was helping their family learn what works best for their individual children. And in this case, he says they likely would never have gone down the online road for Bryce. But again, with the pandemic and just seeing how much that Bryce was thriving in that learning space, yeah. it really just gave their family an option to just, you know, that they likely wouldn't have seen otherwise. Yeah, a lot of us saw that with our kids, too. The best thing to do is side by side, parallel conversations. So in the car or while you're, you know, having a snack, talking to them while you're in process of doing other things and ask them what they think about the school year coming up. I like to use Casey Scott walking and talking with Dr. Matt from his podcast this morning, getting some tips about sending the kids back to school, which is coming up as early as tomorrow for Southern Utah. Yeah, and it's a tough time for students, teachers, and parents. So Dr. Matt was reminding us that, you know, gearing up for school, it's not just about, you know, checking off the school supply list and getting all those things in order. Yeah, those are things. Uh, your kids probably have questions, so it's always good to sit mm -hmm. down, have conversations with them about what the year might look like. A KSL has you covered for back to school. We are covering it all month long right here on KSL Today.